Today's Bible reading for September 26th. As usual, we'll be continuing from the Old Testament, the New Testament, the Psalms, and the Proverbs. May the Lord God Almighty minister to our hearts. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. So the Old Testament reading for today is from the book of Prophet Isaiah, chapter 48, verse 12, to chapter 50, verse 11. Listen to me, O family of Jacob, Israel my chosen one. I alone am God, the first and the last. It was my hand that laid the foundations of the earth, my right hand that spread out the heavens above. When I call out the stars, they all appear in order. Have any of your idols ever told you this? Come, all of you, and listen. The Lord has chosen Cyrus as his ally. He will use him to put an end to the empire of Babylon and to destroy the Babylonian armies. I have said it. I am calling Cyrus. I will send him on this errand and will help him succeed. Come closer and listen to this. From the beginning, I have told you plainly what would happen. And now the sovereign Lord and his spirit have sent me with this message. This is what the Lord says, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord your God, who teaches you what is good for you and leads you along the paths you should know, you should follow. Oh, that you had listened to my commands. Then you will have had peace flowing like a gentle river and righteousness rolling over you like waves in the sea. Your descendants would have been like the sands along the seashore, too many to count. There would have been no need for your destruction or for cutting off your family name. Yet, even now, be free from your captivity. Leave Babylon and the Babylonians. Sing out this message. Shout it to the ends of the earth. The Lord has redeemed his servants the people of Israel. They were not thirsty. When he led them through the desert, he divided the rock and water gushed out from them to, for them to drink. But there is no peace for the wicked, says the Lord. Listen to me, all you in distant lands. Pay attention, you who are far away. The Lord called me before my birth. From within the womb, he called me by name. He made my words of judgment as sharp as a sword. He has hidden me in the shadow of his hand. I am like a sharp arrow in his quiver. He said to me, you are my servant, Israel, and you will bring me glory. I replied, but my work seems so useless. I have spent my strength for nothing and to no purpose. Yet I leave it all to the, in the Lord's hand. I will trust God for my reward. And now the Lord speaks, the one who formed me in my mother's womb to be his servant, who commissioned me to bring Israel back to him. The Lord has honored me and my God has given me strength. He says, you will do more than restore the people of Israel to me. I will make you a light to the Gentiles and you will bring my salvation to the ends of the earth. The Lord, the Redeemer, and Holy One of Israel says to the one who is despised and rejected by nations, to the one who is the servant of rulers, kings will stand at attention when you pass by. Princes will also bow low because of the Lord, the faithful one, the Holy One of Israel, who has chosen you. This is what the Lord says. At just the right time, I will respond to you. On the day of salvation, I will help you. I will protect you and give you to the people as my covenant with them. Through you, I will reestablish the land of Israel and assign it to its own people again. I will say to the prisoners, come out in freedom. And to those in darkness, come into the light. 
They will be my sheep grazing in green pastures and on hills that were previously bare. They will neither hunger nor thirst. The searing sun will not reach them any more. For the Lord in his mercy will lead them. He will lead them beside cool waters. And I will make my mountains into level paths for them. The highways will be raised above the valleys. See my people. See my people will return from far away. From lands to the north and west, and from as far south as Egypt. Sing for joy, O heavens. Rejoice, O earth. Burst into song, O mountains. For the Lord has comforted his people and will have compassion on them in their suffering. Yet Jerusalem says, The Lord has deserted us. The Lord has forgotten us. Never can a mother forget her nursing child, can she feel no love for the child she has born? But even if that were possible, I would not forget you. See, I have written your name on the palms of my hands. Always in my mind is a picture of Jerusalem's walls in ruins. Soon your descendants will come back, and all who are trying to destroy you will go away. Look around. Look around you and see, for all your children will come back to you. As surely as I live, says the Lord, they will be like jewels or bridal ornaments for you to display. Even the most desolate parts of your abandoned land will soon be crowded with your people. Your enemies who enslaved you will be far away. The generations born in exile will return and say, we need more room, it is crowded here. Then you will think to yourself, who has given me all these descendants? For most of my children were killed and the rest were carried away into exile. I was left here all alone. Where did all these people come from? Who bought these children? Who raised them for me? This is what the Sovereign Lord says. See, I will give a signal to the godless nations. They will carry your little sons back to you in their arms. They will bring your daughters on their shoulders. Kings and queens will serve you and care for all your needs. They will bow to the earth before you and lick the dust from your feet. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Those who trust in me will never be put to shame. Who can catch the plunder of war from the hands of a warrior? Who can demand that a tyrant let his captives go? But the Lord says, The captives of the warrior will be released, and the plunder of the tyrants will be retrieved. For I will fight those who fight you, and I will save your children. I will feed your enemies with their own flesh. They will be drunk with rivers of their own blood. All the world will know that I, the Lord, am your Savior and your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Israel. This is what the Lord says. Was your mother sent away because I divorced her? Did I sell you as slaves to my creditors? No. You were sold because of your sins, and your mother too was taken because of your sins. Why was no one there when I came? Why didn't anyone answer when I called? It is because I have no power to re is it because I have no power to rescue? No, that is not the reason. For I can speak to the sea and make it dry up. I can turn rivers into deserts covered with dying fish. I dress the skies in darkness, covering them with clothes of mourning. The Sovereign Lord has given me his words of wisdom so that I know how to comfort the weary. Morning by morning he wakens me and opens my understanding to his will. The Sovereign Lord has spoken to me and I have listened. I have not rebelled or turned away. I offered my back to those who beat me and my cheeks to those who pulled out my beard. 
I did not hide my face from mockery and spitting. Because the Sovereign Lord helps me, I will not be disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like a stone, determined to do his will. And I know that I will not be put to shame. He who gives me justice is near. Who will dare bring who will dare to bring charges against me now? Where are my accusers? Let them appear. See, the sovereign Lord is on my side. Who will declare me guilty? All my enemies will be destroyed, like old clothes that have been eaten by moths. Who among you fears the Lord and obeys his servant? If you are walking in darkness without a ray of light, trust in the Lord and rely on your God. But watch out, you who live in your own light and warm yourselves by your own fires. This is the reward you will receive from me. You will soon fall down in great torment. So that was the prophecy from Prophet Isaiah. And you see some of the passages there refer to um, Jesus Christ in the future. Because Jesus quoted some of these places. Okay. Now, the reading from the New Testament is from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 17 to 32. With the Lord's authority, I say this, live no longer as the Gentiles do, for they are hopelessly confused. Their minds are full of darkness. They wander far from the life God gives because they have closed their minds and hardened their hearts against him. They have no sense of shame. They live for lustful pleasure and eagerly practice every kind of impurity. But that isn't what you learned about Christ. Since you have heard about Jesus and have learned the truth that comes from him, throw off your sinful nature and your former way of life which is corrupted by lust and deception. Instead, let the Spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. Put on your new nature, created to be like God, truly righteous and holy. So stop telling lies. Let us tell our neighbors the truth, for we are all parts of the same body. And don't sin by letting anger control you. Don't let the sun go down while you are still angry, for anger gives a foothold to the devil. If you are a thief, quit stealing. Instead, use your hands for good hard work, and then give generously to others in need. Don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful, so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear, you, who hear them. And do not bring sorrow to God's Holy Spirit by the way you live. Remember he has identified you as his own, guaranteeing that you will be saved on the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words, and slander as well as all types of evil behavior. Instead, be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God, through Christ, has forgiven you. So that's from the New Testament. Now the reading from the Psalms. Psalm 69, verse 1 to 18. For the choir director, a Psalm of David, to be sung to the tune lilies. Save me, O God, for the flood waters are up to my neck. Deeper and deeper I sink into the mire. I can't find a foothold. I am deep in I am in deep water. The floods overwhelm me. I am exhausted from crying for help. My throat is parched. My eyes are swollen with weeping, waiting for my God to help me. Those who hate me without cause outnumber the hairs of my head. Many enemies try to destroy me with lies. 
demanding that I give back what I didn't steal. Oh God, you know how foolish I am. My sins cannot be hidden from you. Don't let those who trust in you be ashamed because of me, O sovereign Lord of heaven's armies. Don't let me cause them to be humiliated, O God of Israel. For I endure insults for your sake. Humiliation is written all over my face. Even my own brothers pretend they don't know me. They treat me like a stranger. Passion for your house has consumed me. And the insults of those who insult you have fallen on me. When I weep and fast, they scoff at me. When I dress in bollard to show sorrow, they make fun of me. I am the favorite topic of town gossip, and all the drunks sing about me. But I keep praying to you, O Lord, hoping this time you will show me favor. In your unfailing love, O God, answer my prayer with your sure salvation. Rescue me from the mud. Don't let me sink any deeper. Save me from those who hate me and pull me from these deep waters. Don't let the flood overwhelm me, or the deep waters swallow me, or the pit of death devour me. Answer my prayers, O Lord, for your unfailing love is wonderful. Take care of me, for your mercy is so plentiful. Don't hide from your servants. Answer me quickly. For I am in deep trouble. Come and redeem me. Free me, free me from my enemies. Amen. So that's the, read, the reading from the Psalms. And now the Proverbs. Proverbs 24, verse 5 to 6. The wise are mightier than the strong. And those with knowledge grow stronger and stronger. So don't go to war without wise guidance. Victory depends on having many advisors. May the Lord God Almighty bless the reading and hearing of his word. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen.